Um, here- here it is, in, uh, Deuteronomy. A woman must not wear men's clothing, nor like, a man wear have, women's like, a Bible clothing, with you. for the Lord- Yes, for the Lord your okay. God detests anyone, detests anyone who does this. Don't- don't think of it in the way of like, oh, women shouldn't wear pants, and like, no, don't think of it in that way. Yeah. It's in order to be seen by others as that gender. So, if you're wearing something, and you're just wearing it, it looks cool and stuff, as long as it's not directly dishonoring to God, meaning like it's vulgar, or it has satanic symbols oh, on it, or something like that, um, then it's okay to wear, but if you're disguising yourself, trying to be seen as a woman or as a man, oh, if you're the opposite of that and stuff, um, that's wrong. That's what makes it wrong. So that's specifically pertaining to transgender people. So, right. right. I have a um, question about I... that, okay? But, yeah. uh, no, this is real, okay? This is, this is totally real. Uh, in yeah. Bar Harbor, there's a restaurant called Dirty Dick's Crab House, and they sell hats that there. And I own one of those hats. <laughs> Now, okay. the slow, now the hat says, Dirty Dick's Crab House, Panama City Beach, Bar Harbor, or, or no, not Bar Harbor, uh, Outer Banks. Bar is that Harbor. against the Bible? Um, well, what, what, is it a crab house? Yeah, it's a crab it, you house. You said a cra is it a strip club? Does it have anything no, no, vulgar no, 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 no. in it? I think it's so, the, uh, the, the vulgar is, uh, word within yeah, the crab house name. I think um, the crab well, house is sinning. But it's the, it's a it's it's a it's relating to the founder of the restaurant. Yeah, it's I I still feel like it's it's just trying to play a dirty joke still, because people can do that with their name, Richard now, and I, stuff. But no, if I wear that hat on a daily basis to school, say, is, am I against the am I against God? I would say to not do it. Not saying I'm not saying oh, that what sorry. you are, because this is a bit of a gray area. Oh, no, 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 but I'm not. Me. I'm not saying that you are 100% sinning. I'm saying that you're not representing God well. If you claim to be a Christian, but you have you're wearing something vulgar, that's not that's not a good thing. Please don't break that. Um, one. That was very expensive. So I'd encourage you oh, to no, let me help you. find a different hat that you might like. I think yeah, Outer, Outer, Outer Banks, I think Otter Banks is like fishing, like it has some fishing stuff, right? Yeah, it's a, well, it's a, it's a barrier. Or do, you, do you like fishing? Boom. I don't really go fishing, honestly, I mean, I just went to the I Outer Banks. I personally look for a hat along the lines of uh, Richard's, uh, or maybe just a hat that has something to do with a... The word is slipping me right now. I really wish I could find these words when I'm trying to speak. Get it out, man. Yeah. It's today, Junior. Working you on it. Trust me. Lasso or? I'm gonna call it an exhibit, but I kind of mean a, a preserve, nature preserve. Maybe something like uh, ah, yeah. Richard's Beaver Nature Preserve. Oh, yeah, hey, Siri. Uh, what are some nature preserves you. in the Outer Banks? I just got Capitale off the I would always... just encourage you guys not to wear anything with any vulgar things on it, that's all. Right, you're kind of- it's a gray area, you somewhat play with fire, you might be smiting on the Day of Reckoning. I'm not saying mm. that, but, okay, I know that the- the name Dick, <laughs> it's a- it's a nickname for Richard, I understand that, but because the meaning of that name has formed into something that is vulgar over the years, so now we see it as vulgar, we see it as both ways, but normally we do see it as vulgar, I would encourage you not to wear it, and I'd encourage you not to say it unless you're literally referring to someone who, um, whose nickname is, you know, is that. Just how the name, the, the P word, you guys know what I'm talking about, the P word, it mm -hmm. used to just mean a cat, you know? Oh, well, well, oh. Well, oh. Uh, yeah, it, it, oh, well, it, it just, it just used to mean a cat, and over the years, it, it, it's formed into not meaning that. So I would encourage the you guys to not The only way wear you can say word. sinful words oh. like "ass" is not a sinful word unless you use it as a slang. It means a donkey. It's actually in the Bible. Yeah, exactly. There, there. This oh, is true. Yes. Sinful word without being sinful. I you can't assume. use it as a slang. Amen to yeah. that. You can't say that you're an A or my big 
fat A. Like that that's still vulgar. That's still vulgar, but if you're saying, Oh, that's that's an A, you know, and you're pointing at a donkey oh, and you're I'm not so trying sorry. to be funny and stuff, then yeah, that I would say that that's okay to say things like that. When someone okay. says fat But I would just use the word donkey, honestly. But... When someone says fat and well, inanimate sense object, when you call someone a donkey. Like uh say a car or yeah, so, yeah, so, say a car. Let's say someone says a car is sexy. Is that is that a sin? No. Cause see, as I, long as you don't have a physical attraction to the car, like a physical, let's say they do. like let's say I want to have, have sex with this car, uh, then that's that. I would say that that's still being yeah. lustful and self-serving. So see, I, I would try to not. Do I, that. I don't know. Some car guys get pretty weird. Yeah. I would probably say that they were very was... close into Satan's hand. I there was, was this one guy. See on, what I was uh, thinking of was um, on, uh, I, uh, I think it was my strange addiction. I really he, like, like helicopters. To loving his car. Like I wouldn't say I'm you know sexually attracted to them, but they just you know they're pretty spicy, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I find certain cars very attractive, not in a weird way. Sorry. But oh, certain, certain weird cars, way, of course. like certain cars, just look masculine. <laughs> Certain cars do honestly look sexy. I don't mean it in a weird way. It's just Are you it's just a nice sleek car. You I know, know what it's you sleek, mean. It has nice front lights and yeah. I, I find uh, the Apache like the helicopter. Those wind tips are so broad and it just looks strong and powerful and I, fast. I, you okay. know, yeah, a helicopter I, I like that could definitely deliver the word of God. Exactly. <laughs> Sit down. Wow. The holy helicopter. Hey, Wait, could you just call me Master Ghost? Oh my. Uh, Carp. Um, I'm gonna- I'm gonna read a few of these verses to you. Just, um, just think about what I'm saying, you know? Right. Um, in Ephesians it says, let- this? Oh my, you are on uh, I do the not brink, you, you are said. very much on thin ice, oh my gosh. Um, Ephesians, I, it says, I mean, let I'm no corrupting talk right come now. out of your- I'm asking for permission first. I know, but oh. you keep making weird jokes. Let's listen to her, let's I'll listen you. to her. I'll res you. Yeah. What were you yeah. saying? Yeah. I'll res you. Let no... Let no something... In Ephesians it says, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouth. Here the Christian girl was just going off on a really long, boring sermon. I decided to trim that out. And it made a pretty nice, neat place to round this part up. There is still one last part of this though, and you can see it in the end screen coming up on the right if you want to see that. If you want to see the one before this, there's also that on the left.